idea of replicating real life in miniature, it's just a strange concept. What I need is a piece of quiet. What we see is an illusion of no reason to confuse. I, I used to go to the miniature museum as a, when I was a kid in Victoria. So I decided to see if I could get a chance to shoot there. And it turns out that the owner is a really sweet, older, about 80-year-old man. And he let me go in there for about five nights. It's like a completely wood-paneled, very nostalgic, mothball-smelling kind of place. But uh, just to pick out some individual moments that have been so carefully crafted um, and bring light to them, it's kind of my goal. Also, the whimsical element of it, you know. I mean, I spoke to one of the guys that um, put it together, and he was telling me how him and his father used to build train models when they were kids, and that was their activity together. And I just think it's really interesting that people choose to replicate life through these inanimate objects, and really can bring emotion and meaning and situational irony and all of these elements into something that's completely inanimate. I do. I, I do really like to make things that people don't necessarily understand upon first viewing. And I think that's something in photography that I look for as well. When I'm looking at other people's work, I don't, I don't want to be able to look at it and know what it is right away. I want to be able to like look at it and have a lasting kind of time period where you can examine it and re-examine it and get different things from it. And I remember when I shot my first roll of film, every image coming back with a perfect exposure and just feeling like it was so intrinsically me. Mm -hmm. 